Hi, big tractor power fans. I'm out in a western Kentucky field with an International Harvester 966 tractor equipped with canopy rops and duals. It's planting soybeans with a John Deere 7240 11 row 15 inch spaced planter. We'll spend some time out in the field hearing and seeing this machinery at work as well as talking about its specifications and original list prices. The International 966 tractor was manufactured from 1971 through 1976 in Rock Island, Illinois at International Harvester's Farmall Factory. This was a popular selling tractor for the company and just over 21,000 units were built in a five-year period. During their first four years of production, the International 66 series featured a white side panel, just like the 966 we see in this video seeding soybeans. For their last year of production in model year 1976, a black stripe decal was added to the 66 series line. We can see an example of that decal with this 1466 disking. The black stripe models were introduced in October of 1975 and offered through September of 1976 when the new 86 series were introduced on September 11th, replacing the popular 66 series. The International 66 Series tractor line included a wide range of models from 69 all the way up to 161 PTO horsepower, including models 666, 766, 966, 1066, 1466, and in later production years, the big 1566. The International 966 is powered by a six-cylinder International D414 engine that is a 6.8 liter, 414 cubic inch engine rated at 95 PTO horsepower. There are two different transmissions available on the 966 tractor. The first is a sliding gear eight forward and four reverse speed transmission. The second is a torque amplifier known as TA from International Harvester. It's a high low speed range transmission with 16 forward and eight reverse speeds. The tractor features a 37 gallon diesel fuel tank and weighs in at 11,116 pounds from the factory and can be field weighted up to 13,500 pounds. This machine's original price tag back in the 1970s was $18,084. A customer could delete several options including the torque amplifier feature which was $740, PTO could be removed and that was a savings of $519 and if the tractor was not ordered with a three-point hitch the customer would save $834. The 966 tractor that we're watching is fitted with two post canopy ROPS. ROP stands for Roll Over Protection System. This tractor could also be ordered with four post ROPS with a full roof. It could also be ordered with a fully enclosed cab with air conditioning or as an open station model. This two post canopy ROPS tractor you might notice has pink insulation mounted underneath the roof of the canopy. That's to help reduce vibration noise that comes from the ROPS. The ROPS can be filled with sand. The farmer just purchased this tractor and plans to do that, but he wanted to get his soybeans planted first, and that's why he placed the insulation up there as a temporary measure to help deaden the sound as he travels across the field. The John Deere 7240 planter is a ground driven machine. You can see it has a large turf tire that runs off the wheels of the planter as it moves forward. 
That turf tire helps drive the row units as they plant the soybeans in the ground. This planter is available in a variety of sizes that ranges from a 4 row 30 inch all the way up to an 8 row 30 inch space model. In between there is a 6 row 30 inch and a 6 row 38 inch planter available. This is a soybean special equipped with 11 rows of planting units spaced at 15 inches apart. This planter is 15 feet wide and matches the same configuration as the 6 row 30 inch planter. The soybean special is equipped with three bushel boxes and they can be easily filled up with soybeans and the planter can cover about 25 acres between refills. The 7240 planter featured in this video is from the mid to late 1990s featuring this striped John Deere decal that appeared on tractors at that time. This 11 row model would have originally priced at $22,045. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this classic machinery planting soybeans. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comments section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. Thank you for watching.